hello from Rocky Mount Mills here in Rocky Mountain, North Carolina. This uh, house here, a huge house, converted, historic. To it's going to be Jack's uh, steakhouse here coming up. I think uh, maybe in a couple weeks. I was just going to take a little walk around the campus here. Uh, there's another historic site right there. Oh, and that uh, that uh, house there built back in the uh, late 1800s. Very nice. Anyway, just uh, take a little walk around the campus. I was just in the weight room, equipment room. Put in a couple miles on the treadmill, a couple miles on the bike. They, they got a couple Pelotons in there too. Not ready to try that yet. Right, right over there is the uh, Goat Island uh, bottle shop. Very nice little, well, that's pretty good size tavern. Here's the backside of uh, give me Jack's. Uh, just a couple uh, lofts down from me is the uh, person with WRAL, and they always have this. Um, mobile camera truck parked right there. I guess just in case. <laughs> All right, so walking down to this next little house here. I know this one, this just opened up about a week and a half ago. It's, it's called the Rama. They've got a coffee shop downtown and now they've just opened up this, which they call their bottle shop. Larema Bottle Shop. Got a nice outdoor grill there. Had a couple of fires out there, wood fires. Nice patio. Just put this landscaping in about two weeks ago. Just in time for their soft opening. They're gonna have a grand opening at the end of January. Huge parking lot I mean, huge <laughs> a lot of campers uh, kind of come in there and camp in the back there big RVs it's about 3.30 3.45 you can see the sun there in the west slowly going down I haven't been over to this one here See, it's called uh, P. Koi, no, Koi Pond, Koi Pond, Koi Pond Brewing Company. There you can see Rocky Mount uh, Mills was established in 1818. Now, this place over here is a, uh, it's called the Tipsy Tomato, and it's a very, very nice pizza. Not like your, you know, brick oven pizza. <laughs> No, this is um, beautifully homemade, unbelievable crust they produce. Got some great items in there. Plus they have some draft beers. Open like I think 11 to 2 p.m. Then they come back at uh, 5 p.m. to about 11 p.m. You can order to go, order ahead. It's pretty cool. looking back at the Rocky Mount Mill. Now, this is kind of like a little hidden gym. It's a little baseball field. I think they call it the Wiffle, the Wiffle Ball Field, <laughs> uh, where they play Wiffle Ball. But, you know, I guess little kids, they could play regular T-ball or whatever. But they got, as you can see, a fence. Very nice fence here where you can hit it out. Oops. Down goes the American flag. <laughs> okay, well. We'll work on that here in a little bit. There's a huge tree. Been here for a long time, maybe a couple hundred years or longer. Those are the houses right there. Every one of these houses over there, the small little 
mill houses. Um, every one of them, and I think they've got about 25 or 30 of them all up and down here. Every one of them has an American flag in front. They're owned by owners, and it's just like a little tight-knit community. Um, and they're part of the campus, really, part of Rocky Mount Mills. So walking down the parking lot here a little bit, and then look back at the mill. Yeah, very nice day today. I don't think it may be, maybe it might be 50, uh, but it's, it's a little bit chilly, but it's crisp. As you can see, there are no, cl no clouds in the sky. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna walk over here. Yeah, there's, there's a nice RV set up maybe for a day or two back here. I think you, I think you have to kind of register at the, uh, the office up there in front there, you know, for, uh, for, to be able to park back here. And it's got security here, um, just about around the clock. Yeah, this little, these little houses, they're little, they're tiny homes is what they call them. But they, uh, they've got, I don't know, 25 or 30 of those back there. It's called the River and Twine. River and Twine. And uh, yeah, just like a hotel, you can uh, come in and check in for three or four days. But they're uh, tiny homes. Very well suited, outfitted on the inside, beautiful. There's the sign, River and Twine nestled in and untwine. <laughs> okay. Yeah, all right. Okay, we'll just round in the, this parking lot here. I guess that's future expansion back there. And also back here in the, uh, in the woods. There's another nice RV. There's a picture back there at the mill. I think I'm getting about another couple of miles in here on the uh, around the campus a couple times. So altogether, I'm thinking I'm going to have end up here with about six miles combination of treadmill, um, uh, bike, and the uh, gym, and uh, some freestyle walking out here around the campus. Okay. Yeah, I was walking at about a um, 18 minute per mile pace. Um, I can remember a long time ago uh, and having a little contest with my dad down in Ashboro, see who could walk four miles, walk, run four miles the fastest. And uh, we basically just walked together <laughs> the whole four miles, but we did that. He did it w uh, below below one hour. So we were at a 15 mile per hour pace. 15, is that right? No. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> anyway, we walked four miles. Yeah, 15 minutes. We walked four miles in less than one hour. And there was a lot of hills down there in Ashboro. Well, oh, there's my car right there. That's where I parked. And then there's the, the back side of the loss. As you can see, there's maybe about 10, 10 up there on the second level. And then on the first level, there's about, maybe about eight back there. And I'm on the very corner, all the way down there at the corner. Yeah, nice, very nice here. Beautiful. Peaceful.
Alrighty, walking up here. There's a water tower over there way on the other side. I don't know how old that tower is, how old, how old that, that tower is, but that's gotta be some years. There's the other side of the bottle shop right up there. This is male lady. How you doing? Good. Yeah, okay. There's a couple brewers right in there. One really good one there so called Bright Penny. Brewing number two. Great. Great couple of bartenders in there. And they put on some pretty good brew. Actually, the brew comes out of Mebane, North Carolina. There's that W-R-A-L truck. So I can get to my loft through these doors here, but I typically go in down below there. There's a private entrance right down below. Works pretty good. Yeah, there's that uh, Bright Penny. And this place, Pinspiration. Trending crafts, splatter room, private party space, beer and wine bar, great. Been in there a couple times, talked to the owner. It's a great place for kids, adults, anybody and everybody. This is a incubator over here. It's where they do a lot of brew testing and formulation. They can be working at any time of the day or night. Um, but this is where they create some of the newer, newer brews coming out. All right, let's walk down here towards the uh, smokehouse. First of all, you can see the Rocky Mountain Mills powerhouse, which is kind of like a um, event center. Uh, very nice in there, oh, totally upscale. And uh, over here, We've got, uh, looks like an old cotton, something or another. That's gotta be back in the 1800s. Not restored, but uh, rusted up pretty good. Hey, dog friendly here. Yeah. That's where Pinspiration is down there at the end going through that. that. That's my building back there. I'm all okay on the other side there in the corner. Nice little sitting area up there in the top deck. Yeah, it's Powerhouse. Okay, I like that name. Powerhouse. That's the main office there. Check-in, etc. And this is nice here, very nice. Yeah, right through those doors down there at the bottom is the, um, the prime smokehouse. It's a beauty. A chef in there is also, also owns it. There's a, got a little bit of a jazz club in there too. over here. I haven't been over here much. Maybe one or two times. But uh, it's called the canteen for breakfast and lunch. Very nice. Very nice. There, there's that Rocky Mountain Mills Cotton. Cotton Mill. Established 1818. 18. <laughs> Let's walk around the canteen here. Yeah, I think they close up around two, two or three in the afternoon. 
oh wait a minute, Books and Beans. Yeah, that's the, the official name, but I think they call it the Books and Beans Canteen. And then there's, this is where the um, newspaper here locally, the Rocky Mountain newspaper called the uh, Rocky Mountain Telegram. This is where they're headquartered back here. Not bad. <laughs> Not a bad location. Yeah, that's an old walkway there, Skyway. That's the main address for everything in here. 1151. Everybody is at 1151, whether you're a resident, business, uh, restaurant, doesn't matter. You're 1151 Falls Road, Suite 200 or number 300. This is a law firm here. Pretty big law firm there. We've got offices here in right the Rocky Mount office right here. And uh, got one in Raleigh, big one in Raleigh, got a big one down in Charlotte, got a big one in um, Pinehurst actually. Yeah, Pinehurst. Pointer Sproul. Oh, and there's the Prime Smokehouse up there. Okay, just past this bridge, bridge here, going on down there. That's where the waterfalls occur. This is the backside of the mill. Again, these these offices, all these offices down here in the lower level are uh, uh, the law firm Pointer Sproul. I think we got more than a mile in so far. Maybe about a mile and a half. But that's actually, I'll bet we've got, yeah, probably a little, a little over a mile. Because I'm at the 17-minute uh, mark right now. You can sort of see the rapids down there. But here's some of the other, back in the back side of the mill. This back there, th this is where the prime smokehouse is located up there. And then this is their back patio which is, you know, always jamming during the summertime, fall time, springtime. Some old uh, things there. Mill related. <laughs> yeah, very nice, yeah. Yeah. Rocky Mountain Mills. Take care.